first of all, I want you to underline this, it should be 20 centimeters a block of soil, 20 centimeters. And how do you measure that? Well, these rollers are actually not very good because they have a blank area and then it starts zero. So it'll probably go about 19 and a half if you have a clear roller. You insert it inside of looking at the, uh, you have the end with the Velcro, okay? I'm inserting it inside and I'm gonna measure out about 19 and a half centimeters because, you know, the, the, the give and take of the roller. And that's where it's gonna end, the, the soil. Don't worry about the four and a half centimeters high. Just concentrate on the 20 centimeters deep. All right, don't worry about that and you'll see why. Notice the picture in the book, figure 3-1. It shows you the same picture that you, in lesson two, where you just have to make a block of land. Now we want a general slope at the end. So it's going to look more like this. This was our stream table. We're looking at a side view. And this is where our Velcro is. It's going to look like this. And come out 20 centimeters. So it's going to be, and, and you want it so it's a little higher at this edge, just slightly. And then it flattens out and then slowly comes down. So this is what you want, not what you see in the picture. So you're going to have to have one done. Remember I said build one for yourself? Yeah. And you'll have a gently slope to show the kids as a model. They can come and look at yours. So this is 20 centimeters from here to here. Don't worry about the height. The height will work itself out when you do the 20 centimeters. There's no reason to worry about the height. If you do this gentle slope, you ought to break the same. The hardest thing for kids to use the first time is this, is this spreader. They want to spread like this and tap down. You don't want to tap the soil down and compress it. So I teach my kids, when you're using the spreader, it has to be vertical. So when they're mixing, I want to see the spreader with the handle up all the time, and that stops them from doing this. That's the easiest way to stop the tap down. Always has to be like this. So you teach them to hold it in your hand and just move it back and forth like this until they get that length and distance up and down. I'll watch you do it. What I teach is, you don't look from the side, you always look here, and that's why I get this off. And you look across, make sure you don't have any dips, and stay down, and it is. It looks pretty, well, you have a little dip right here. You see that? So, in the later, the water will always run to the lower. It's, it's a little bit So you really want to try to not have any dips. It's something that's a learning process. And I think to, to cure those, you want to go more side to side on those. So we're so gonna, it's going to dictate, the dip will dictate where your string is going to fit. I really want it to rain on the land, so I want some force on it. Okay? It keeps like a gentle. I think you're going to break it. You can't break this. Right. Yeah. So you have a couple different options. First of all, I should have had you do this. I should have had you do it at the level initially. Oh, I wondered about that. Yeah, I forgot to have you do the side level because then you would have seen that soil probably did what? Went down. It dropped. 